Hello and welcome to Spoiled by Poco. My name is Apurvi and in this channel we bake eggless recipes. So let's get baking. For making wet caramel, in a heavy saucepan, take 100 grams of sugar. Add 30 ml of water and put it on low flame and let the sugar melt. Swirl the pan to get even melting. In the meanwhile, in a bowl, take 7 to 6 gram of cream and heat it in a microwave or on a gas stove. Do not boil it, just bring it to a simmer and add half teaspoon of vanilla in it. Mix it and keep aside. Our sugar have started turning golden in color. Now you can use your silicone spatula or wooden spoon. Is golden brown. Add your warm vanilla cream in parts and mix to incorporate. Be careful as your caramel will bubble and rise up. Cook your caramel further for 2 minutes and keep aside. Swirl it to cool lightly. After a minute or so, add 25 grams of butter. Mix it with your spatula. It will melt from the caramel heat. Pour it in an airtight container and store in the refrigerator once cool to room temperature for about 4 to 6 weeks. Our wet caramel is ready. For making dry caramel, in a saucepan add 100 grams of sugar and let it melt like we did for the wet caramel. You can use your silicone spatula or the wooden spoon to push the sugar on edges to middle to get even melting or just swirl the pan to avoid crystallization. Likewise, warm the 76 gram of cream, add it in the caramel, mix 25 grams of butter and pour it in an airtight container and store in the refrigerator once cooled down to room temperature. Making caramel is easy if you follow few tips. First, use a wooden or a silicone spatula. Do not stir your sugar directly as it can lead to crystallization. What you can do is, once your sugar has started melting, use your wooden spoon or a spatula, silicone spatula and gently push your sugar inward from the edges to help it melt evenly and such that your sugar does not burn. Second thing you can do is, instead of using any wooden spatula or a silicon spatula, you can simply swirl your pan around so that the melted sugar will swirl and this will ensure that there is even heating and the sugar melts evenly from all sides. Adding cream. Now you may have seen in many recipes that they add cream directly. But what happens is, once you add your cream, the sugar bubbles, the melted sugar bubbles and it starts rising up. So to avoid this, what you can do is, is simply warm your cream in a microwave or either on a gas stove. Just do not boil it. Just warm it like you do for a ganache. And another thing that you can do is, you can add your vanilla extract directly into the cream, mix it, it incorporate it. Keep it aside and once your sugar is melted, you can use that warm cream to add it in your sugar. Also, add your cream in parts. Do not add it in one go. Add it in parts. As you can see, I have added it in 3 to 4 parts. This helps that there isn't any sudden temperature shock and your sugar does not crystallize. So, to avoid such happening, what you can do is add your cream in parts. One thing that can happen is, once you have added your cream and you are mixing it, mixing it in, you might see that sugar has started to set. So do not be worried. It doesn't mean that your caramel is now ruined. What you have to do is, when you cook it further on a low flame for 2 minutes, 1 to 2 minutes, it will melt of its own and your caramel will be silky smooth again. Few tips that you can keep in mind if you want to adjust your caramel. If you want your caramel to be more on a thinner side, like in a more flowable consistency, what you can do is you can increase your cream quantity. Now, if you want your caramel to be more richer, you can increase the butter amount. For the salted caramel, melt 100 grams of sugar in a saucepan in low flame. 
Then proceed by adding 76 gram of warm cream, half teaspoon of vanilla. Also add half teaspoon of salt during this time. Then cook on a low flame for 2 minutes or more and finish it off with adding 25 grams of butter and emulsifying it. Store this in an airtight container once cooled to room temperature. Store in the refrigerator. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Also turn on the bell icon so that you can get notified each time my new recipes come. Lastly, for caramel with glucose, in a pan take 84 grams of sugar, add 16 grams of glucose, melt it over low heat. Once the sugar starts melting, gently push the sugar on sides to the center to get even melting and avoid burning of sugar. Once reaches golden brown in color with half teaspoon of vanilla. Mix it in and cook the caramel further for 2 minutes on low heat. Then mix 25 grams of butter and store this also in an airtight container once it cool down to room temperature. Thank you for watching. Spoiled by Coco.